You probably know that if you want anyone's attention with your cold email, you have to send out and you do that through personalization. Simply writing a generic email does not work anymore because no one will reply back to you when you just like anyone else. A normal person receives on average above 100 emails per day. So if you do not send out, you will just be dumped into spam like the rest of the lazy people who did not write a personal email. So the question then becomes, how can I most effectively write personal emails at scale? AI just became your guardian an angel when it comes to completely outcompete any other agency out there by being able to personalize your emails extremely fast because I just wrote a thousand personal outreaches in 30 seconds using this secret AI prompt. And when you learn this secret, your prospects will think that you've sat down and wrote that email specifically for them, even though you sent it out to thousands of other leads as well. So let's take a look into it. So now taking a look inside of the sheets with all our leads. So the first thing that you obviously need to do is you need to have some leads and I would scrape them from softwares because you can scrape a lot of information about the company that the lead works for. So in this example, we have scraped the SEO description, technologies, country, state, city, Facebook URL, industry, employees, email, company, and the title of them. And that means that we can personally and specifically make a personal line based on these variables. And that means that we can get ChatGPT based on all these variables to make a personal first line that we can use in the cold email to stand out. What you need to do is you want to go ahead and click on Google and you search on GPT for sheets. Click on that and you want to download this extension. Once you've done that, you go into the extension up here and then click on add-ons and then manage add-ons and you should see it in here. Once you have it in here, you want to go inside and you want to search on uh, OpenAI and pricing. Then click on pricing and then log in. And you don't want to click on ChatGPT, you don't want to click on Dolly, but you want to click on API here. And one thing that I want to ensure is that you actually have this activated. So click on playground up here and just say, hey, what is your name? And then just submit. So if you're not receiving any replies, it means that you have not the paid version. And I would most definitely recommend you to download that because it is just the biggest ROI for your company. Just using ChatGPT to a lot of things to save you a ton of time. Once you've done that, you want to click up in your personal up here and then click on manage account. You want to go ahead and click API keys. And then you want to create a new secret key. And this is Sheets. And I've done this a couple of times now. So you just want to click on Sheets. You just want to name it Sheets, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Create secret key. And now you want to duplicate this and go into the Leads section. Now we want to go ahead and write personalization here. And then click on Extensions. Then you should have GPC for Sheets here in Extensions. And then you want to click on Set API Key. I already have an API key, but you just want to go ahead and create one. And I just want to paste my API key in here and then save. And now ChatGPT is set it up with sheets, which means that we can use all the prompts inside of the sheets, which is what we need in order to make these personalized first liners. So taking a look at the prompt that we're using, write a short assumption sentence of what the business does to the owner of the business based on the following paragraph in less than 15 words. Started with, I love how you make it sound like someone would talk, simplify what the paragraph said, so a high school kid could understand it. Avoid any promotional sentences. Use one sentence only. Avoid listing multiple assumptions. Avoid any contact us or similar kind of sentences. And that's essentially what we want to write. So I would say found you on LinkedIn because that's what we did with these leads right here. And I would actually say 20 words instead of 15 words so we can be a little bit more creative. Now we just want to go ahead and click on all the variables that you want in to include in this. So serial description right here. And this is mainly what you do. So now you just want to go ahead and just drag this down to all the other leads and you will get personal personalized first liners on each and every single lead. And the sky is the limit in regards to what exactly you can get this to do. This is just based only solely on the SEO description. But if you include their title as well, their company name, the amount of employees that they have, the industry that they are in, you can make a very, very good and specific personalized first liner that will get any reader to stop up and actually read the rest of the email just based on that. Before using AI, my team and I had to manually write a personal line for each lead, which often took one to two minutes. And we're sending out 90,000 emails per month, so it is a lot. Now we can easily upload a CSV file to ChatGPT and it will write a personal line based on all the information that we currently have 
on the lead. I don't need any virtual assistants anymore to handle this and it is completely free, which means that I'm saving thousands of dollars every single month doing this. So if you want to learn more about the newest tactics on how you can succeed with cold outbound marketing, on how you can stop being a slave to a business and instead build the freedom you initially started it on the basis of by automating and hiring and sell 5k a month packages and build an offer that can get any stranger to throw their money at you. Then subscribe and comment what you would like to see from us in the future. I am your servant and we will tailor make videos for your needs if we have the experience in it. I'm not going to pull anything out of my ass that I have not done myself. So yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.